Hey guys, welcome back to the Atlas Masterclass. This week we're in Polynesia, and in particular, we're in Samoa. So what this dish is that we're gonna start with tonight, it's called Oka, and it's served at every family gathering in Samoa. So our head chef of Atlas Masterclass, Susie, lived in Samoa, and she's designed this sort of menu this week to showcase some of the flavors of Polynesia and working off the experience that she had when she was there. So this dish, the, uh, we've got some sweet potato that we've just cut up into sort of nice chunky chips. So we're gonna start by washing those in some water just to wash some of the starch off. Then we'll dry them and then we'll roast them. So they'll be roasted in the oven. And then we've got some tuna. So the tuna will just be diced into nice big size cubes. We've got some coconut cream, some fried shallots. And then we've got some cherry tomatoes that we cut in half. We have some shallots that we slice nice and thinly. We have some spring onion that we've also chopped thinly. I cut some limes into wedges, so we'll be able to squeeze the juice out of those. Thinly slice on the angle, we've cut some chili, and then we've taken the seeds out of the cucumber, and then we cut them on the diagonal as well. So this dish is very, um, very much prep heavy, so you wanna do all your cutting, getting that ready, and then we'll get our sweet potatoes in roasting, and once they're cooked, it's really just mixing the rest of the dish. So, you know, this is um, you know, very similar to those poke bowls and things like that using very similar technique or a ceviche where you basically get your fish, you coat it in some acid, which is uh, the lime juice. You've got the coconut, which just adds that creaminess. It's just so, just so beautiful. I never get enough of that. And then you've got the fresh ingredients as well. So it's a really fun dish to make, um, something that's really fresh and, and really healthy as well. I think that that's something that I really like about this dish. It's, you know, great, great produce, it's simple, and it's very, very healthy to eat. So I just wash, those like that. I'm going to pour in a little bit of olive oil. We can use olive oil, grapeseed oil, canola oil, whatever you like for this one. Touch of salt. Give it a really good mix. And then we'll get these in roasting. So while these are roasting, um, you could have everything else cutting up and then we will be ready to make it. So now we're going to make the ochre. So I get my chili, shallot, and the white part of the spring onion into a bowl with the tuna. And I'm gonna squeeze in half the lime. So just squeezing all that juice out. So just like all sort of ceviches or this ochre dish as well, you're sort of using the lime or the acid from the lime to essentially cook the fish or start the cooking process and then we're gonna mix in the rest of the ingredients. So that will take about five minutes or so. Touch of salt as well. Just maybe a little bit more lime. So you want as much of the acid as possible. So being sure to squeeze every last piece of it out. And we'll check back in in five minutes. So the sweet potato took about 25 minutes to cook. It's worth taking the time. It does make a big difference when they are cooked really nicely. And now I'll mix this. So I go cherry tomatoes, my cucumber, and my coconut cream. So beautiful, comes together, super tasty. You might want to have a little taste, see if you need more salt, which it definitely does. And then that's it with the dish. So. I now I'm going to plate it straight up. A really nice, really nice dish. Something that's really, as we were touching on before, really nice and healthy and just super tasty. I think that, you know, these sort of flavours, it's very hard to, to go wrong when you're making, you know, beautiful fish, coconut, tomato, sweet potato, the fries, got our lime. And then we finish with the green parts of the spring onions that I just mix with some fried shallots. So that just adds that another layer of texture. You know, really beautiful looking dish, really simple dish. And you know, that right there, this is just stunning Samoan cuisine. <laughs>